Hey guys, welcome back to KB Wrestling. I'm KB Wrestling, or you can call me Kyle. And what a SummerSlam we had. Even the pre-show had amazing matches. I'll talk about a few matches and what happened. And then, yeah, the, these are my SummerSlam reactions about what happened. So, pre-show we had the Hardys, Jason Jordan again versus Miz and Miz Raj. This time the Miz and Miz Raj one. Still a pretty good match. I enjoyed it. But yeah, Miz and Miz Raj came out with the win on that one. Then we had some weird Elias Samson. He he just saying no one came out, expecting maybe someone to come out and stop him from trash shocking Brooklyn, but sadly not. Alright, then I think it was the final match on the kickoff show. The Usos versus the New Day for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. That match was very, very good. The Usos came out with the win, and they are now the new SDL SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. Really good match. I recommend it. It was very good. Usos picking up the win. Now they are the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. And also, on the kickoff show, another title change hands. Neville versus Akira Tozawa. Neville regained the Cruiserweight Championship, taking it from Akira Tozawa, and now he's a new, and again, the king of the Cruiserweights. He's a new Cruiserweight Champion, Neville. That was a very good match, too. I sort of expected it, because Akira Tozawa won it on Raw the week, um, the Monday before SummerSlam. I was kind of expecting... Neville to um, regain it, and he did. So that was the pre-show. It was a very good pre-show. I actually very much enjoyed it. It was really good, especially the Uso and New Day match. I recommend watching that one if you're going to watch it. Then the show starts. Baron Corbin versus John Cena, first match. John Cena got the win. His first SummerSlam win, ending his losing streak at SummerSlam. So this Pretty decent match, but it's something I c would have expected to see on SmackDown and Cena pick up the win. So, despite Cena d costing Corbin the WWE Championship and the Money in the Bank, Corbin didn't get the win, and Cena Cena picked it up. He got the win. Then after that, um. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what order some like what the matches came in because uh, I don't remember offhand. But uh, let's just go straight into a the uh, SmackDown Live Women's Championship match: Natalia versus Naomi. That was very good. Natalia picked up the win by submission, making Naomi tap out to the sharpshooter, and now Na Natalia, at, for the first time in six years, she is champion again. She is a new SDL SmackDown Live Women's Champion. That was a very good match. She got the win by submission. And well deserved. She's deserved a belt for a while and she finally has it. Now let's go to the other women's match. Sasha Banks versus Alexa Bliss. Alexa comes in champ and walks out not champ. It's Sasha Banks made her tap too. With a big statement, and now Sasha Banks is a four-time women's Raw Women's Champion, and yeah, it's a very good match, fast-paced, good action, and now let's see what happens. I'm sure Alexa has a rematch, but I know people like Emma give Emma a chance. She really deserves a belt, and wonder what will happen when Bailey when she comes back. Maybe she gets that title opportunity. But yep, Sasha Banks, new Raw Women's Champion. Now, the Shield. Our boys, Dean and Seth, picked up the win against Cesaro and Sheamus. And they are the new Raw Tag Team Champions. You just get Roman. We can have the full Shield. But yeah, that was a very good match too. And they are now the Raw Tag Team Champions. And they did it in good action. And it was a good win. I thought that match was very good too. A lot of championships changed hands last night. It was very, very cool to see. But uh, yeah, the shield is back. Just got Roman. We have the full reunion. 
Alright, um, then we have the, uh, shark cage match. That was kind of, uh, I don't get the point of having Enzo escape the cage just to get, like, knocked down by Cass and then Big Show lost. Cass won. That match is probably not the best, probably my least favorite of the night. Now let's just get to the main championships. WWE Championship, Ginger Mahal versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Ginger Mahal had help from the side brothers, they distracted. It will, um, Nakamura did King Sasuke to them both, and then um, Ginger got him from behind, finished him, and 1, 2, 3, Ginger Mahal beat Shinsuke Nakamura. Surprising, to me kind of surprising, I thought they might have let Ginger maybe win, but maybe not like that, but you know, he used the side brothers to help him. But yeah, I thought it was a good match until uh, the end when the side brothers got involved, giving Jinder the win to retain his WWE Championship. So Shinsuke still is not WWE Champion. Maybe he gets a rematch for the side brothers getting involved, but we'll find out Tuesday on SmackDown Live. Now the final match, the WWE Universal Championship Fatal 4-Way Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman. Very good match. Braun Strowman putting Brock Lesnar not through one, but two tables and flipping the other known stable on him, forcing Brock to go backstage on a stretcher. And then Roman, Samoa Joe, and Braun fought it out a little bit. Brock comes back, takes people to Suplex City. Braun still wrecks him, though, and everything. Yeah, at one point, Braun was about to finish him, but then Roman spared him. That was really cool. Everything was is action-packed match. And then we have um, Brock back in the ring. It's um, Roman's going to go for it, sparing him, and whoop, nope, picks him up. F5, Brock Lesnar retains the Universal Championship. He is still the Universal Champion. What a match it was. It was awesome. And yeah. That SummerSlam had a lot of title. Oh, I forgot one. Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles, Un Un uh, United States Championship. When Shane McMahon and Special gets ref. That was a very good match. Shane got physical with both men, but ultimately, near the end, they got physical, him and Kevin. Kevin got distracted, he got shoved, yada yada. Sort of giving AJ the win. I had a little help from Shane, but Kevin did kick out of some stuff after that. So, ultimately, I'm assuming Kevin's going to blame Shane for the loss because AJ Styles did retain his United States Championship. So, maybe down the line, another pay-per-view, we'll see Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens. But, yep, there's that match, the Universal title match. Very good. Fatal 4 way I recommend it. Watch it. It's very good. Brock retains. Yeah, that is very cool. Great SummerSlam. Great NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. Great weekend. Now, two more. I'm not sure about SmackDown, but I know tonight Raw is still in the Barclays Center. Undertaker, maybe. Because I know he is in New York. Uh, but if they are in Brooklyn again for SmackDown, still be cool. Maybe see him on SmackDown. But either way, hope he comes back. Don't know if he will. Could have been there just for special events or just to watch matches. But either way, great weekend. Great summer time. Great NXT. That's been this video. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you already do, thank you. And yeah, that's it for this video. Remember guys, it's YouTube. Stay drama free.